Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Coronation Street viewers may be startled to hear that Jacob Roberts had a fairly regular job before taking on the role of Kit Green, Bernie Winter's long-lost son. Three weeks before to his spectacular arrival on the renowned cobblestones, the 34-year-old soap star was up on rooftops installing aerials. Jacob was having trouble landing acting parts a year after saying farewell to Hollyoaks. That was a low point, he says sadly. Eight months, previously I was on TV, and now I was in the freezing cold rain on top of a roof, fiddling with a TV aerial. It was winter and I was outside up a ladder in the cold instead of inside in the warm doing lines. It was a total reality check and hard to take, says Jacob of those bitterly cold days. However, the humble boy, Jacob wasn't attempting to cause a scene when he fiddled with Antonis. I was terrified that someone would notice me and ask, weren't you on Hollyoaks? The mirror states, I wasn't being pretentious but I was there to work and I didn't want the attention. When Jacob, just 17 years old, secured a spot in Borstal Boys, it appeared as though he was destined for greatness during his adolescence. Both in New York and at the Edinburgh Festival, he dazzled the reviewers. It was an amazing opportunity. It was just off Broadway and we got good audiences. A lot of people wanted to see it, remembers the actor, However, the rush of TV appearances he had anticipated for upon his return to Britain didn't materialize, so he ended up going back to his origins as a joiner, as reported by Mirror's Scoop. Following his layoff, he dedicated two years to working with children who had impairments before attempting a career as a laborer and aerial fitter. He didn't land his first TV role until he was 27 years old, where he played Damon Kinsella on Hollyoaks for a good six years. Reflecting on his professional journey, he revealed, it took me a long time to get my break, revealing that it took him 10 years. Before I was cast in Hollyoaks, I applied for the role roughly five times. When the show debuted their renowned Hunks of Hollyoaks calendars back in the day, he recalls feeling the pressure to flex his muscles for auditions. I needed to grow a little bit. I was a very thin child, he acknowledged. That kind of show used to be Hollyoaks, and it was more about appearance than acting back then. A good number of times, I was also up for Emmerdale. Nevertheless, the courageous Salford actor never gave up on his dream in spite of numerous setbacks. Rejection is hard to take, but I didn't let it affect my passion to act that was always there, he said. I always wanted to be on TV and I never thought I wouldn't get to do it because I do have confidence in myself. He continued to hone his art after leaving Hollyoaks by attending multiple acting courses. After leaving Hollyoaks, I attended various acting workshops and was constantly learning, he revealed. Last year, Coronation Street called him for an audition after noticing his grafting. He was cast as Kit following a couple of months of auditions. He recalls with fondness, I went to celebrate with my mom and immediately bought a bottle of champagne. His mother, a devoted follower of Corey, was ecstatic. It hasn't taken long for viewers to see that in recent episodes, Kit has shown no qualms about exploiting his police authority for personal gain. He intimidated the store owner to protect Gemma from a theft accusation and he deftly framed Nathan Curtis for a possible murder by planting evidence on him, all without blinking an eye. But in this week's episodes, Kit makes his most audacious move yet. He aims to capture Lisa George's character, Beth Tinker. After Lisa portrayed the outspoken factory worker for 13 years, rumors regarding her departure from the soap opera began to circulate last year. When Beth learned that Kit was involved in the selling of fake t-shirts and received a portion of the proceeds illegally, she found herself in hot water. Surprisingly, 
Kit reverses course and refuses to give in to her threats of blackmail. If Biff doesn't pack her bags and move out of Weederfield permanently, he threatens to damage her son Craig's career as a police officer. Jacob remarks, I like his drive. He's selfish in that he knows what he wants, before acknowledging Kit's cunning. If he sees an opportunity, he takes it, but he only does things if he's confident that he will get away with it. Jacob then discusses his thoughts on his character's most recent antics. Kit has settled into the rover's return on Coronation Street, taking up Glenis Shuttleworth's old room and soon discovering that the pub is a veritable gold mine of conversation, ideal for his cunning schemes. However, because of his enormous size, Jacob, who portrays Kit, has found it a little difficult to film scenes in the famous bar. He laughed and replied, I love it, but I'm six feet four and so I don't really fit in the rovers. They have to raise the bar's top level every time I stand at it. It seems like a lot of work is being put in just for me to be in the scene. Jacob revealed that his mother isn't exactly Kit's biggest fan as well. He smiled as he recalled, You're a bit of a B asterisk 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 C, aren't you? I replied, Yes, Mom. I am. Lucy Fallon, a Coronation Street actress who is pregnant, looked stunning while vacationing in Italy. In Rome, the 28-year-old actress Bethany Platt looked stunning in a white cohort. OLA was her caption for the series of photos. Ooh, Lucy, exclaimed Sarah Platt. Tina O'Brien, Lucy's co-star on Corey. You look amazing. You've grown so much since I last saw you. I can't wait to see you again. We're only two weeks apart. The soap star used a cute video with their one-year-old son, Sonny Jude, to share the amazing news with her 571,000 Instagram followers. Before Sonny reveals her baby bump, Lucy and Ryan are seen reading a book to her to the tune of To Build a Home by the Cinematic Orchestra. Next, we see Lucy clutching a pregnancy test while Sonny is studying skin images. Using the phrase, halfway there, she'd alluded to being 20 weeks pregnant. Only six months have passed after her three-year hiatus and come back to the series before this amazing news. Awu, congratulations, beautiful, remarked her ITBB Drama Queens co-star, Amy Walsh, who is best known for playing Emmerdale's Tracy Robinson. Mother on screen Tina O'Brien posted several heart emojis, and actor Patty Bever of Max Turner said, So happy for you. The actress who plays Daisy Midgley, the bartender, Charlotte Jordan, continued, saying, The family is growing, the family is beautiful, and Bump is so lucky to have you. The upcoming months appear to be packed with activities for both Lucy and her alter persona, Bethany. This month, Metro.co.uk exclusively disclosed that the ITV soap opera is planning a new story for Bethany that would focus on the risks associated with traveling overseas for cosmetic surgery. The story will soon see her grow more self-conscious about the way she looks and decide to take a quick trip overseas to have surgery. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.